the facts of what are going on, you're just going to loop in it. So you, you have to break away from how it is into the preference and to water that garden. But after you do that for long enough, suddenly, and it's often sneaks in when you're not expecting it, you suddenly realize, huh, things are a little easier all of a sudden. I turned up, I was in the right place at the right time, you know, I yeah. got the car park straight away instead of hustling, you know, like yeah. little things yeah, yeah. start to happen and you realize, oh, hang on, the, everything really does work out for me. <laughs> <That's true. laughs> yeah. So yeah, yeah, creating that. Um, and then the kids don't listen <laughs> and, you know. you dip <laughs> and you're screaming and shouting at everybody. And then you go, okay, right. hang on a minute. <laughs> right. What, what was that thing again? And yeah, how's it go again? <laughs> where's that piece of paper? Yeah. I had it written down. You know? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Uh, which, which makes it real. I mean, it isn't, it, it is a practice. So you have to do it constantly um, in you a do. fun way. And it gets easier. It really does. Yeah. I remember the time when, you know, in my, in my twenties, when I was really interested in re reprogramming myself. And mm -hmm. I remember then one day just sort of like, ah, oh, just sitting on the couch. And then I caught myself out. My internal dialogue was literally saying, I love my life. I'm always in the right place at the right time. I always find out what I need to know when I need to know it, and everything always works out for me how's that oh my goodness like my internal dialogue had had finally clicked over from yeah. repetitious programming you have to brainwash yourself essentially yeah and and then it just starts to breathe yeah which makes it so cool to really be a parent in a way in these times because you can help brainwash your children to say those cool things Right. And to, and to focus on what they're grateful for and to, yeah. and to be noticing what is working instead of being in a dialogue about the problems all the time, which yeah. is honestly our, I call it the media, ocrity, <laughs> coming at you. <laughs> um, you know, yeah. there, there's a insidious sort of manipulation going on on that level where we are just, if it bleed, if it leads, it's because it's, bleeding you know yeah if it leads it leads you know yeah. and it's it's that whole um that cultural interest in drama negativity and not enough and competition race compete protect ugh, like fear. It's, it's it's fear 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 it's horrible you know? yeah. and and the next paradigm that we're moving into is so much more about collaboration it has to be you know like we are <laughs> We are done with this model. And so this is where I always say that global transformation happens mm -hmm. through individuals. That's why as, as one individual masters one moment, instead of getting caught up in unnecessary negativity, that's, that's you doing your bit to assist the entire shift. You know? yeah. 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 And we see that so amazingly in the content college as well. We've got storytellers and fashion designers and, book you know we're writing books and, and it's just so amazing to celebrate other people's wins because right. it uplifts you in the process as well doesn't it it just um, yes. creates that global kind of a little bit of a vibration every time someone else gets something right and they go like yeah, right. yeah, yeah. and on the on the quantum model if when you notice what's going right even though it's their win yeah. You're including it in your energy, which makes you a candidate for the same equipment. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and that's why it, you know, like it's not just a selfless act. It could be considered a selfish act too, because <laughs> because when you really understand the quantum model, it's like, you know, you, you don't get what you want, you get what you are being, you get what you are investing in, what you are noticing. Yeah. And, and so, what you're imagining. Um, right. Yeah. And I mean the options are count it's just infinite you can pick any of those options and and play that role really in the quantum field and right. it becomes a possibility it and, is. yeah yeah and what a mind-blowing thing really like when you really contemplate that yeah i i love thinking about how every single thing like it doesn't matter what you've got in front of you every single thing was was vibration it was energy first it was a, a thought in the mind of somebody and then thought form and a momentum and yeah. then action 
and kind of gathering of matter. And it's like we have a a um, a game in the game of nowism where you take a thing, like say this pen, and um, and you we call it finding the magic in the mundane, mm -hmm. because when you really start to unpack this pen, the level of energy that it took for this to be right here is actually extraordinary. And so when we, it's, it, I call it like deliberate daydreaming and there's a great benefit to deliberate daydreaming because it raises your vibe. But, you know, the wood was a, literally a seed that, that sprouted and then there was sunshine, there was rain, there was birds and bugs and bees and all the things, maybe a farmer or someone who, who um, assisted the tree or, or at least watched over it. And then you've got like the interior bits, like the metal. I mean, that's like of the earth. Yeah. You've got the people, you trace that all the way back to like, you know, hundreds and hundreds of years ago where they discovered how to even create metals. Like all of it is everywhere. It's very, very um, omni, omni, omnipotent, actually. Yeah. Everything has got so much energy underneath it. And when you take the time to contemplate the simple things that we really take for granted, you will start to find magic in the mundane. And when you start to see it anywhere, you now become a candidate to see it everywhere. And that can, that in itself, it just changes the lens and the way that you look at things. It's very powerful. 